Karen just goes, sex wax? <laughs> <laughs> For surfboards, Gerald. <laughs> nice. Oh, SS. No, it's the sorry. L1. Sorry. The L1. Sorry. Jesus. Look at this guy. Right. 540. 540. 540, huh? I'm going Thank 560. Really? Sex wax? <laughs> <laughs> For surfboards, Gerald. <laughs> nice. Bert. Didn't know that. <laughs> Ready to rent? What's going on with it? There you go. That's what's going on with it. Oh my god. Oh man. God, this thing is rough. I took this thing fucking off road. Yeah, dude. He did. He went Baja oh. racing with this thing. Well, it's got, it's got a new oil pan on it. They're racing in the desert. Oh, it sure does. I didn't look that high yet. <laughs> Yeah, why has it got a new oil pan on it? Got a new motor. Oh, that's what I'm wondering. Does it have a no, new motor? I'm gonna like, guess when, whenever they fucking they just ripped the rest of the car off, probably broke the oil pan. Like this is mud. Like, look, dude. This is mud. That definitely hit the oil pan. Oh, maybe. Yeah, Eric, this thing 100% took out the oil pan. Yeah, because that oil pan is fr like compared to the rest of the car. Obviously, it's brand new. Yeah. This is like mud. Like this satin fucking. Dude, this thing went off road. I mean, thankfully it's getting on the exhaust, like yeah. so none of that in reality matters. But still, yeah. Oh, holy shit! Did you see this? Oh, this side's gone. Oh wow, dude! I wonder if this ticket is a new motor. Oh, I guess it. I wonder if this ticket is. Nah, nah, maybe not. What? I was gonna see if it got a fucking new motor. But... The oil pan, it, like you can tell the oil cooler is still dirty as fuck, but the pan is definitely. Yeah, it, it hit the it hit. pan and. Yep, start diving in. That's it. Head first. Mark Powell got his first bicycle. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Kimball gets on one. Oh my god, that went right in my motherfucking eye. Yeah, I'm not even looking at it. God damn it. This thing needs to go through a fucking car wash or something. It's not what you want to see on the hands. Golly. What'd you throw on your hand? Dirt. Dirt. <laughs> wow. Oh, red dirt road. Smart, how's your morning been going? Fine, I guess. You excited for lunch today? Derek, I'm excited for lunch every day. Well, today's a little special. I mean... Yeah, look forward to that fucking delicious roast beef. Yeah, there you go. It'll be, it'll be special if they got the barbecue beef going. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know if they'll have enough scraps left. Yeah, I don't... I don't know if they got enough scraps yet to make that shit. I don't know if it's gonna be overly special for me. I think I have a backup plan, though. I think I'll go chicken parm. Really? I'm going with the beef if they have it. I'm, I'm talking about the roast beef. I don't think I've had the roast beef. Roast beef sandwiches are terrible, Eric. Yeah, the, so pork, the pork has a ton of way more flavor than the fucking. I love that how you can say that's literally marinated in the exact same thing. Uh, just... How can you say that, man? Uh, I don't know, Kyle. Hey, You're fucking. 
Yeah, I know. That's got the roast beef maybe once in the time of going. I mean, you just say something like that. You uh, must, you must, you must. I might get it more than once if I didn't enjoy it. How dare your taste buds be different, you jackass? Yeah, I know, dude. It's been fucking every day there. Yeah, you have a different opinion, Matt? You piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean you have an opinion? That doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> This thing got a new oil pump. It's a little custom thread cleaning tool that you made last time, isn't it? I missed it because I was helping Eric move cars earlier, but Mac got the new cam thrown in this drone. So much dirt, you know, dried to this muffler. Yeah. Having issues with the pipe fitment. You know, I hooked you up with that mold earlier. I need a 90 degree EVAP fitting. Oh my gosh. You got a better chance than seeing Jesus. Oh man. I can't even believe I'm about to give this up. Yeah, you know, it's funny, I always give up my good shit to you, you fucking asshole. That ain't even that. Yeah, as soon as I handed it to you, I realized it's you said small. Need that. Or it's too big, way too big. Yeah, I just, just want to set this thing on and go fucking in. You know, Garrett picks one thing up, he's got to get it on film. I build race cars! <laughs> <laughs> I specialize in brake lines and race cars. I said, don't fuck Yeah. yeah. Hashtag Garfield. Hashtag black bullets. <laughs> Alright, 2017 ZL1. This may be the highest mileage ZL1 we've ever done. Uh, 86,564 miles. Uh, I don't remember what it baselined, but it got, um, I think, basically a stage 4 package, but it's we're only doing 93. So no meth, no flex fuel, none of that. So I'll just read you the list of exactly what it got. So it got our full cam package. Everything that comes with that. 9-1 lower, 2-inch American Racing headers, big gulp uh, Rotofab, the 5-inch deal, uh, Nick Williams 103 throttle body, Kong uh, ported blower and snout, and that's it. So, curious on what this thing will make. Straight 93, we'll find out. That's about it. That's about all I can do. Garrett, I don't fucking know. Holding on the ground somewhere. Okay, 576 at baseline. Let's see what we got. Six 
687, 631. I think I kind of backed off the throttle for some reason. I'm just gonna make another pull. I didn't think the tires would hook, so I think I like rolled into it and then I don't know what happened, bro. I guess I forgot to up the limiter. But same thing basically. 685. 631. Well, new thing, so I know, I can tell. It fucking still smells like new headers. Yeah, not bad. I mean, tune was pretty damn close. It had no timing in it either, so it's going to pick up a lot more. I don't know how much more, but I'd guess at least another 40. Uh, all right, let's try this again. Seven fifteen, six fifty four torque. Air fuel looks pretty good there, so I just changed the little things and then um, added a little timing. Pretty fucking stout so far. Seven twenty eight, six sixty torque. This thing's making more than I thought it would make on straight pump gas. This thing's killer on straight pump gas. 666 torque, by the way. Which, I'm actually gonna try and get it to make some more. See what another degree of timing in the torque department does. Let's see if we can hit 750. After this pull, probably let it cool down and it'll probably hit 750 after that. AIT2s honestly aren't terrible though. Like these ZL1s and the V3s and shit, these things are like gangster for factory like cooling. As far as like all the radiators and cooling and stuff that they have. Um, these things are, are awesome. It's not like the C7Zs or like the V2s or anything like that. Like those things, factory cooling kind of suck. Uh, these things are awesome. It went down a little bit, but it's hot. So I'm gonna let this thing sit. We'll get back and make one or two more pulls and that'll probably be it. This thing's rowdy so far though. Well, it hasn't been that long. Like not even 30 minutes, like 28 minutes I let it cool down. It should be cool enough. Like I said, it wasn't hot before, so I don't need it to be like cold that I need to warm it back up. So it should be good. I think we'll be able to hit 750. Maybe a little more. Maybe 760 actually. Uh, 665 torque. I'll make one more. Let's see where we're at. <laughs> 753, 665. Pretty consistent nonetheless. That's stout. I mean, so this thing picked up, uh, fucked at this baseline by, what did this baseline? 567 and it went to 758. So 100 and almost 200 horsepower, 190 horsepower. That's sick on straight 93 octane. Yeah, like I said, we don't do a lot of these straight 93 octane deals, but when we do, I mean, they surprisingly turn out pretty good. And if we wanted to, we could add in some of that octanium if someone wants to choose to do that, if they don't want to do meth or or something along those lines. Um, and it would probably pick up another 40. You could probably make close to 800 on technically straight 93. Not really straight 93, but that would put it closer to like 100 octane, but it's easy to do if uh, you don't have E85 or you don't want meth or something along those lines. Either way, this thing turned out pretty killer. Uh, this is the ZL1 that we did. I think I got a stage four. Um, got almost 87,000 miles on it. 
customer is uh, coming to pick it up in a little bit, so just doing my normal final drive. No manual ZL1. I got a manual ZR1 on the dyno. T7 ZR1 because C6 ZR1s did not come in automatic, so they're all manual. C6 ZR1s are the king. I don't care what you say, that's the truth. Uh, it is 44 degrees outside. And I think this thing has a non-stock tire on it. I believe. We'll find out in about two minutes when I roll into it, but I'm pretty sure it does. It's, I'd say this is probably the highest mileage six gen uh, an old Hummer. I don't know if you guys can see that on the back of that trailer, like a H1 Humvee deal. Um, the highest mileage six gen we've ever done. It's a 2017. So they got 87,000 miles on it. And uh, I guess that's like six years. It's not, it's not really that much, but for a car like this, it's generally higher than you would see. But drives nice, made good power really good power especially for just straight 93 octane which that's killer literally straight 93 no meth um no flex fuel so if we put some of that um octanium stuff in here it probably would have made 800 which like i said you, you can't really beat that i mean i know some people in cars we do they don't like meth or they don't have e85 by them and it's true i mean I mean, I like meth. I put meth on, on everything. But as far as the E85, like, it's really not that, it's not around us that much. Like, we have to drive, well, depends. There used to be a station right near my house, like two minutes, you know, like five minutes from my house. And it closed down. So there's, that one's not there. And that was a pretty big, like, medium point for a lot of people around us for E85. So that one's gone. <coughs> the next closest one, there's one station in Delaware. And it's been there for like ever. Um, and it's like grandfathered in. Because I, for those of you that don't know, this is just what I've heard. Delaware passed some stupid law that gas can't contain more than like 12% ethanol in it. In the state of Delaware. Well, I guess they forgot to exclude E85. So that station is the one that's there has been there for like ever. But it's like hit or miss. Sometimes they have E. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes the pump's broken, whatever. So when they don't have E, we got to drive probably, I don't know, 35 minutes from the shop to go down to Perryville, Maryland to go down to a station down there that has E85. Um, and that's the next closest one. Other than that, there's one in like Philly, maybe like an hour away. So not, not a lot around us, not a lot of choices. So. What we did, we would just buy it, like, especially for the shop, but even when I had a car, like, we had, like, three 55-gallon drums. So when we go get E, we'll just fill three drums and leave them at the shop. But, like, when I had my ZR1 or whatever, I would just use that E. I'm going to see if this thing has a tire on it. No, stock tire. Traction control on for this one, and we'll see. Uh, I'm not even going to try second gear. I'll just try it real quick to just do it to a laugh. That was like a quarter of a throttle. Yeah, even half throttle things like skating around. For those of you that don't live in cold weather or that live in like Texas and Florida and think like 60s cold, you don't know what you're dealing with until you deal with, it actually shows it's 39 degrees right now now that I'm driving because I was in the shop before. but. You haven't tried dealing with a road that's 30 degrees uh, and trying to get it to put down power. It's uh, way different than if a road's 60 degrees or something like that, but whatever. I mean, it just is what it is. It's what we have to deal with. I mean, even fourth gear at 60 mile an hour, it's uh, not happy. But, I mean, it runs good. I think this guy just recently bought this thing, so I don't I don't think he put these miles on. I think he bought it and pretty much brought it to us. So whatever, hopefully he can, continues to put a ton of miles on it because it'll be much more fun now. So I think the car came from Texas from the stories that I gathered. But other than that, I mean, it drives awesome. Clutch feels good. I think we did a clutch in it. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. 
like six gen zl ones man like i'm not a big camaro person but even though i own one but um fifth gens were like really hard to see out of stuff like that fifth gen z28s i liked only because if you've ever driven a fifth a, a fifth gen z28 camaro and you've driven ss's and zl ones the z28 is just straight gangster compared to the other two i mean obviously it's like meant to be it's like a track car basically with the carbon brakes and all like but they're just god this fedex truck is basically on fire in front of me it smells like shit it's smoking its ass off oh sorry it's terrible so i'm going like slow to let it go away but yeah so if you've ever driven like a, a fifth gen z28 and and i've driven all the fifth gens i should say they're all way different like the regular ss to a zl1 to a Z28, they are all completely different from each other. The 6th Gen ZL1s, I mean, for one, they look sick. Uh, they're very easy to make power and mod. You know, it's got a forged short block basically off from the factory. You can make a ton of power on them. Um, the SSs are nice, but this LT1, the piston sucks. You can only make so much power on an LT1. So it's, it's not, you know, depending on how much power you want to make, you got to put rods and pistons and stuff in them and you know it's just an added expense but once you do that i mean they're badass you, you can make ton of power with them also so it's just depends on what you want your initial investment to be and what you want to do with the car but the six gen zl ones are are, are sick man I, lo I love these things they just they look so good from the factory like i love the stock wheels on them they just it's just a really nice looking car for a stock vehicle so this thing um I was actually just gonna pull it around, like, oh, make sure the meth and everything's filled before the customer gets it, but it's just a habit. This one doesn't have meth, so you don't have to worry about the meth tank being full. These things are awesome. This guy should be happy with this thing. It made really good power on 93 octane. That's it. It basically picked up 200 horsepower on straight 93 octane. I took this, this thing off, this little sex wax guy, because it would have been directly in the camera's view, but this thing's ready for pickup. Ship is yours.